focus of this entire series is how Jesus spoke in parables or in stories to be able to illustrate the gospel best to those that he was communicating to. And in this week, week one, we didn't necessarily get into a specific parable. Rather, we focused on the intention behind why Jesus communicates in the way that he does. And so in Matthew chapter 13, we pick up halfway in the story where Jesus is telling the, the parable of the sower. Because what happens is that the disciples all of a sudden stop him, right? They're out on a boat, in a, they're in a lake, and they're speaking to all the people that crowded around Jesus that are on the shore, and everyone is tuning in and listening. And in the middle, the disciples stop him and say, hey, why are you really beating around the bush with these people? Why don't you just tell them exactly what you think, exactly who you are, and exactly what you're going to do? And it seemed to them like Jesus was just kind of really taking his time when when he should actually just be sharing it to them in black and white. Why should take the time to share a story instead of just say, say the truth outright? So here's the tension that the disciples are going through. They're thinking that Jesus just needs to say, you need to repent and believe in me and that's it and everyone is going to follow Jesus. But actually they're completely neglecting their own experience with Jesus. If you think about it, you have Matthew and you have Levi who were tax collectors, who Jesus didn't just say, follow me, though he did. He said, follow me, though he went to their house and sat with their friends, all other tax collectors or people who were considered to be sinners so that they could understand really who Jesus was and that he was a God who was so personal that would be there with you, unlike anyone uh, treated them, especially tax collectors, at that point in time. So therefore, they followed Jesus because they saw what he was doing. They saw who he was. Then take Peter, Andrew, James, and John, the disciples who were fishermen, where Jesus goes to them knowing that they understand fishing better than anyone. It was their occupation. And he uses fishing to be able to describe the gospel to them, to be able to say, this is what the intention is of following me. He says, I will make you fishers of men. That clicked with them. And at that moment, they dropped their nets and followed Jesus. And so already having this experience in the background, Jesus knows that. He goes into explaining a prophecy out of the book of Isaiah. And the foundation of the prophecy is that people have ears, but they don't hear. People have eyes, but they don't see. Well, why is that? What does this mean? He means that even though people can hear the message of, of, of God, right? Something didn't click. Even though someone could even see it, something still didn't click. They didn't understand it. Therefore, they didn't believe it. What Jesus really is communicating here that we can then understand and take hold of in our lives and in the ministry that God has called us to is that in order to believe, you must first understand. This doesn't mean you need to understand everything about God to be able to follow him. No, it means that you need to understand enough to know that God is applicable to you and that you need to learn more about him. And so what Jesus is saying uh, is that he speaks in parables to share the gospel in the most relevant way to the people he's speaking to. A parable connects something that a person already understands uh, with the message of the gospel itself. And so it does two things. First, it teaches the message of the gospel in a relevant way. And then number two, it models that the way of Jesus is applicable to all people. So a couple questions to think about or to process together with a group is first, how can utilizing experiences or illustrations a person is familiar with help influence their understanding of the gospel? And question two, briefly describe one of the best illustrations of the gospel that you have heard and then explain why it was so meaningful.